So the other day I did a Q&A on Instagram. Somebody was like, I need some stickers for Valentine's. And I was like, okay, I'll grab some and review for you. And I actually started filming this as a short. You can see that I already have some on my nails. And then I realized I need to make an actual video because 30 seconds is not gonna be enough. I need to show you guys what's in these and tell you which ones I like and which ones I don't. So let's get into this. All right, the first set is one that I had already tried on my nails, which is the one that made me realize that I need to do a long form. So this is very informal and quick, but this is basically a bunch of different sheets and they're all the same design, just different colors. So I'm gonna show it to you in black because it's the one that you can see better. So this is basically all that you're getting and then you're getting it in black and white, plain gold, plain silver, and then you're getting the little iridescent gold and silver, which is great. Now these stickers, when you put them on, they're extremely flat on the nail. You can see no texture whatsoever. This is, I don't even have a, a top coat on this, so it's great. I really, really like this set and the design, as you can see here, has great variety. It's very, very cute. Actually, uh, let me show you real quick, okay? Because I, I grabbed uh, one of these plastic nails and painted it under so that I could show you some of the stickers. Always make sure when you're using stickers that your base color is very, very dry. As you can see, it's very flat and super nice. So after this, if we apply a top coat, you're gonna see no texture whatsoever, okay? Perfectly flat, super gorgeous, lots of designs for you guys to use. All right, this next set, they're all the same print in every sheet and you have four that are rose gold, two that are gold and two that are silver. So let's take a look at what they have. It has more of an edgy, less classic, you know, you have like the little spikes and the moons and all of that. So let's see how it performs in the nail. Very, very thin as well. Oops, there's a little bit more texture than the previous one but to be a sticker is very very good nothing too thick nothing too bumpy let's top coat it and see how it goes but this is really nice so far so good because sometimes you know you buy things from amazon you cannot trust those reviews they're a lot of them are inflated you know once you add the top coat that's it there's nothing this looks fantastic and they also as you can see have a um, see-through background which you know is gonna allow you guys to do so many things all right, this next set, I really liked it and grabbed it because it's the classic hearts, but also we had these two, which I love this and allows you to use it for other things. You know, this is not, not just Valentine's. So you have the white and black, little twinkling star design, and then you have red hearts, black hearts, and then two different white designs. So let's try it on the nail and see how it goes. Okay, hearts, okay, okay. Very, very good. Easy to pick up. You guys saw nothing broke. Now, of course, if you're too rough or the tool that you're using is not good, it might, you know, squish your stickers. There's nothing, that's not the sticker's fault, but these are pretty good. I'm not very delicate and these are not breaking on me. So let's top coat real quick and see what we got. Very, very thin on the nail. No bulkiness whatsoever. Very good. All right, this next set looks like the first one that I showed you but it's only, you know, this one because I, I grabbed it because I saw I had other stuff in there. You have these other designs and then you have like this watercolor looking kind of things. And I don't know, I thought it was cute and it has more like combinations, whereas this one's just this sheet, you know? So if you like this, this style of like the, the black with the see-through background so you can put it everywhere. This is a really good one. So let's try it. All right, all the colors that I'm using on these swatch sticks, I'm gonna link them below. Not link them, just name them. I don't have a link for some of them. This feels exactly the same like the first one. This is not a good background for this, but the sticker itself is very good. Oh, look, I like this one. Oh, I don't have space. But anyways, you guys get the point. I don't know what I'm doing here. We don't, I mean, we know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be good. They're already super flat. I'm very glad because sometimes you buy these stickers and they're like chunky butts and they level off of the nail. And sometimes those, some are designed like that, which is great. The 3D ones, I like those. But some are not designed to be 3D and they're just, I don't know, chunky and hard to wear. And you can see how these are like totally flat and perfect. Okay, so I remember this set. I got it because I love the finish, but also because it has Valentine's stuff, but also a bunch of different things. So it's, it's a set that you can use through the year. It's 
not just for Valentine's, so you spend your money now and you can still use stars are good for any time and there's like horoscopy type of stuff and more stars and letters and whatnot. All right, it's very flat. Not as flat as the others, but not annoyingly bulky and it looks fantastic against a black background. And my design skills are not to be trusted. The outline, I love those. Okay, very, very good. Gorgeous, actually. Let me top coat it. Ooh, this is beautiful. I'm so glad. All right, I wanna show you something interesting, okay? The last one that I just showed you, I, I wiped the nail with remover just to test something. And it seems like the little iridescent stuff, there's this, this glowy thing that you're seeing, it's like a bunch of pigment on top of the sticker. So when you apply your top coat, apply it one time and don't play too much with it. I also was testing it here just to make sure here on the side. The sticker is covered in something like a pigment that will get messed up if you play with it too much. So when you're gonna top coat it, just top coat it quickly. Like I said, I tested it here on the side and it holds off, right? I lifted it from my mat and the pigments are okay. But if you mess with it too much, I have a feeling that, well, they're not doing it now, but anyway. I don't know, it doesn't feel like paper. It feels like pigment on top of paper. I don't know if you guys can see the residue here of what would have been the sticker. Look, maybe I can even pull it. Well, I can't, but anyways, maybe that's just glue residue and it's like a little bit of glue with some pigment. They're, they're different. They're super cute. I love them, but just be careful when you top coat them. Out of the rest, I think this one is the one that has the best finish as far as when you look at the surrounding, when you look at the surrounding of the sticker, you can barely see it, okay? Whereas this one, if you get very close, you can see the surrounding of the sticker. Even though it doesn't feel like texture, you can see it. This one, you can barely see it. This one's fantastic. It looks like you drew it with a metallic gel or something. This one's also very good, but you can still see the outside. And the first one that I showed you, you can see the outside, but it's pretty good. Like, I just don't like my stickers to look like stickers. Okay, I had to inspect this, this iridescent stickers a little bit more because this is puzzling, it's weird. And yeah, they definitely act a fool when you put the top coat on top. You can see how the lines are less crisp. Like something gets diluted when you put a top coat. And I tried another top coat that's a little bit softer than my Glisten and Glow, which is a very strong, like hardcore kind of top coat. This one's a bit softer and it still did the same, so I actually, it's a shame because they're gorgeous. I cannot tell you to buy them. I wouldn't. Now, um, I don't know if you don't care and you're like, I'm just gonna wear it for one day, they're gorgeous, then that's fine. But I do want you to understand what the situation is, okay? But anyways, the others do seem like regular stickers, no weird pigment thing that gets screwed by the top coat. They've been sitting here for a while, drying, and they're okay. So anyways, I hope this was helpful. Um, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Which was your favorite set? One, two, three, four, or five. All right, I'll see you in the next one.